Hi guys, it's Katrina. Welcome back to my channel. I am traveling once again. This time I'm going to a state a little bit more random, but I've been to this state probably too many times in my life. I am going to Kansas. My best friend Jillian was born and raised there, so I'm gonna go to her home. She's gonna turn me into a real Kansan. I haven't seen Jillian in a minute because I was traveling for so long and when I got back, she was already gone back to Kansas. So this is gonna be a fun little reunion and I'm gonna live that Kansan life. I'm all packed and I'm headed to the airport. I've never seen a bookstore in an airport. What? Queen. There is a horrible ringing sound, but literally mid boarding, they closed all the doors and a bunch of the like security people are here at our gate. I have no idea what's going on. People are walking past me talking about fights. What's happening? I'm in Kansas! <laughs> With Jillian! This is your childhood room, bro? No. Oh, it's not? It was my oldest brother's, then it was Jake's, and now it's mine. My room used to be upstairs. Oh, Christmas tree, oh, Christmas tree. There is cat right by the tree. She shines so blue <coughs> up on the wall. I am cat. I am the Avengers. I eat pickles on the daily. <laughs> <laughs> Jillian, it's so sweet that you put me up in your basement so you can always look at me. I don't live here. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm gonna teach you a secret. You wanna be authentic the Kansas way. Get a dandelion, you put it against your skin, you rub really hard. Okay, then what? Usually it's yellow. <laughs> Just a Kansan girl in her field. <laughs> Jillian's taking me to the infamous pizza spot in her small little town. I did not realize how small this town is. What do you think about it? Do you like it? I love it. It's so yeah. cute. It's very homey, but it's way smaller than I expected. We've been trying to figure out what pizza we're gonna get for like <laughs> 30 minutes. I think what we have agreed on is a small cheese breadstick with pepperoni in it, a mini streusel, and a mini Supreme pizza. I don't even know what this stuff looks like or what she's even talking about. And I'm gonna put it to the test if it's actually good. Lord, cat manners. It's very perfect. Our food has arrived. So this is a mini chicken bacon ranch. It smells good and hot and really hot. Look at that cheese. Mmm. <laughs> okay, damn. <laughs> That's actually really good. Gambinos. Plus. So this is cheese breadsticks with pepperoni in marinara sauce. Hot, hot. <laughs> Pizza monster. <laughs> oh wow, that's really good too. Which one do you like more? I think I like this one more. It has more flavor. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Here comes the streusel cinnamon pizza. <laughs> Okay, this is the best thing. Mm. Mm. Get your streusel at Gambino's. Just call. Streusel, streusel. I was gonna say a phone number and you started singing a song. <laughs> Look what Kat did. We're making s'mores and it wasn't my fault because my stick broke. Yeah, blame it on the stick. My stick burnt. Why come having any of her stuff broke? I don't know, but it's true what happened. Probably because I like it so burnt. I'm so sorry. So I like my marshmallows really, really burnt. Just give it a second. We'll burn it like that. You know what I'm saying? Now that is how you roast a marshmallow. That's how you burn a marshmallow. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go get some chocolate. <laughs> Dang flies want my s'more. They want some more. They want some more of my s'more. They can go to the one on the floor. <gasps> I can make a rhyme anytime. <laughs> It's just oh. getting a little awkward excited to turn the music off. Hurry! Sorry! <laughs> I'm teaching you guys how to make a s'more as if nobody knows how to make a s'more. Ugh. Would you like to try a burnt s'more? No. Okay. Now that is fire. Every time we go to get in the car, I get to look at this hottie, hottie body right here. I'm not about that life anymore, but <laughs> I can still ball. I do the triple under the loop aloe. And I make it every time. You look so pretty. On the road again. It is our last day in Kansas. We leave tonight. Very sad. The weekend went by so fast. But yesterday we had the most perfect day. S'mores, tanning all day. We played basketball. We even rode scooters. We really lived the Kansas life. Watched baseball games. Aw. It was such a nice weekend, Jillian. Next stop, she has to come to Toronto. Wah, 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 wah. Wah. 
But right now we're going to get Sonic because we don't have that in LA. Look Four. at all these Four. gorgeous buildings. Four. <laughs> Four. Wheat. 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 This is why my favorite color is green. You yeah. like corn and wheat. I like wheat corn. <laughs> we're at Sonic! I <laughs> broke my neck when I turned. It burns. Sonic is trying to hurt you. Hi, can I get the number 10? Fries or tots? Uh, tots, please. Free drink? Cherry lime made with nerds. Um, can I also get a soft press pretzel twist? I hope they bring us our food on roller skates. If they did, I would ask for a lesson. I'm gonna tell them to do a trick. I would be like, you think you can skate? Show me how to fly off the sidewalk, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna say fly off the table, land it. I say do a fr front flip. <laughs> <laughs> Our food is here. I already started eating. I got a crispy chicken sandwich, some tater tots, and I got a pretzel and they didn't bring me cheese sauce, but I think it's okay. I think maybe it's supposed to come with cheese sauce, but maybe I could be wrong. Should I tell them? No. Why are you doing that? Because cat dropped my tater tot and then ate it. It was an accident. Well, accidents have their consequences. <laughs> I forgot I had a chicken in here. <laughs> Mid chicken, you had to steal a tater from me. I forgot. Justice has been served. <laughs> I think they lost their mind. That's mine. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> We're in the app for half price drinks and slushies all day. And you're you telling us now? Yeah, what the heck? We ordered already. Favorite thing about this trip. <laughs> Okay, what's your favorite thing about me coming to Kansas? Or just about the trip in general? I feel like that's a very complex question. My favorite thing about Kat coming to Kansas is that Kat is open to do anything and everything and she has fun with it. Aww. Whatever. <laughs> Julian! <laughs> Whatever. My favorite thing that we've done is yesterday having like the whole like genuine summer day. Like s'mores, laying out, basketball. It was perfect. I think my favorite thing about coming back is that I get to actually see me. Yeah, like your life. No, you're excited to see me. It's been no, so long. Well, well, sure, yeah, yeah, that. But I get to actually understand you more. And what have you learned? I've learned that you guys did some weird things as kids because you were so bored. I heard some crazy stories. What like, really shocks you about here? I like the community aspect of how small the town is, but it is shocking how small it is. Like in Canada, everyone is also very friendly to people even if we don't know them. But in your town, it's like you literally know every single person. <laughs> and my favorite thing that we did out here what? <laughs> I think just like scootering around, just getting to see the whole town. What was your second favorite? Having a slumber party with you. Third favorite? Uh, the baseball game. You like that? I loved that. We should do that in LA. Kids are so funny. Really just admire a kid's creativity and like what they're interested in. It's so funny to watch. It's like you're going to a show. <laughs> Moral of the story is I love Kansas. Kansas.